to my Leo friends out there. I hope that you're doing very well during this time. Um, this is going to just be like an energy update for the beginning of December. Um, we just had that new moon and um, the solar eclipse. So the energies have definitely shifted. I just want to see how that shift is going to be affecting us. Um, and so I'm doing these videos in order of like most viewed for the last ones um, and most interacted with. So if you would like to have your video featured earlier next time I upload, just make sure to interact. And it really helps me out knowing just like what do people actually like to watch? What kind of setup do they prefer? All that stuff. It helps me to improve the channel. Um, yeah, so I want to see what's going on for Leo during this time. Please and thank you, Spirit Guides. Ooh. Oh, interesting. Um, so the High Priestess came out, but it actually kind of came out in reverse. It kind of came out like that, so I'm taking it as reverse. And um, this is really interesting because I, I'm actually getting a very specific message with this card. So... Because I personally believe that Leos are highly intuitive because of um, them being so connected to the heart space. And um, I'm seeing this as like sort of like a struggle within yourself. I, I feel like you're not believing your intuition for something. Uh, yeah, that's the that's the message I'm getting. I feel like there's something your intuition is trying to tell you that you don't either do not want to listen to or you're having a hard time picking up what that message is. Um, you may find it um, helpful at this time to meditate or um, get in touch with your spiritual team or however you do, um, however you get in touch with your intuition best. Um, everyone's different, of course. Some people actually um, being out in nature or taking walks helps them get into in tune with their intuition. So, you know, it really can be anything. Some people listen to music to get in touch with their intuition. So anything that works for you specifically. Mm, interesting. So the two of wands just came out, um, which is very interesting because that's like very optimistic. I always see this as kind of like looking optimistically towards your future. Um yeah, I feel like maybe you have something that you're inspired by during this time. Um, you could be finding yourself very inspired, and I'm sensing it has to do with passions here. So it could even be like a hobby that you're really inspired by, or maybe a um, some kind of passion that you're potentially even monetizing. Um, you could be experiencing some kind of growth in that area, and you're very optimistic about the future. This really wanted to come out. Oh, Ace of Wands. So there could be, yeah, this could also be going um, along the lines with the Two of Wands here. Um, some sort of passionate endeavor that you're kind of, um, uh, what's the word? You're kind of like going out on, on this um, experience of this passion. I feel like it's almost like it's leading you to something. Um, and I feel like you, you definitely feel that pull during this time. What else for Leo, please and thank you? this time Ooh. oh geez okay um mm, okay yes yeah, so um this is interesting so ten of wands just came out and that is indicating to me that whatever it is that you're very excited about and very ambitious about um i feel like you may be actually overworking yourself um trying to accomplish some sort of you know, I'm getting specifically, it's interesting, I'm getting a specific message here about you could be trying to hit goals that nobody put there for you other than you. It's almost like um, you might have put un impossible standards onto yourself, I'm getting, and you're not able to fulfill those impossible standards because it doesn't work for you on an individual level. Um I don't know why I'm getting that message. You might find that um, you're struggling to take time for yourself during this time. So be sure to take care of yourself during this time because you do not want to burn out. And um, yeah, that would just cause a lot of chaos and mayhem. And we do not want that. Um, so the Knight of Wands also came out. So this could even be indicating that someone wants to come towards you very passionately, um, especially because it Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is interesting. Um, I have this pile of cards that came out. So the um, 
Eight of Wands also came out. So this usually indicates um, incoming sudden change or an incoming message of some sort. And usually it has to do with some sort of passion and um, it comes in very fast. So it could be something that you're not expecting to um, experience. And um, the Knight of Swords also came out with that. So this is very, very interesting here because this is all indicating that somebody really wants to come towards you with some sort of passionate information potentially, like passionate message. Um, or, and it's interesting. It's almost like this person really wants to speak their mind with the Knight of Swords because they're going in very passionately. They're even going against the wind. Like they are bent on like, doing whatever they're set out to and it seems like they want to bring a sort of message or potentially you know the sword can indicate the truth sometimes so maybe they're even um kind of bringing a truth forward to your attention and the hermit came out as well and this is incredibly interesting to me because it's going against that energy that we saw um and it, all all four of these cards came out together so it's telling some sort of story here um yeah, with the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Knight of Swords, it seems like somebody really is passionate and trying to come towards you, trying to give you some sort of message. Um, and I wonder... I wonder if it's going to kind of trigger you um, to kind of want to go within yourself once this kind of message comes to you. Or maybe it's going to call upon your past experiences when you were when you were in hermit mode because when we're in hermit mode we really learn about ourselves we take time away from others and really get to know ourselves and get to know our needs wants desires all of that and it kind of becomes our leading light we we follow that light within us um that information that um inner knowledge so I'm wondering if this could cause some kind of conflict within you and you may need to take a step back from whoever this person is, whatever this message is. It seems like, yeah. And you know, it's so interesting too because I almost see you not seeing this coming because um, if you notice here, this person's facing away. They're not like focusing on this uh, Knight of Swords that's coming towards them and they're not focusing on this or Knight of Wands there, and Knight of Swords here. Um, they're not focusing on those coming towards them. Also, you came up as the Ten of Wands, so you're busy working. You don't even see this person come towards you. Um, and I just got the message that maybe your intuition, your intuition, I think, has been telling you that this person is going to come towards you, but you don't want to listen to it. I feel like you're willfully ignoring your intuition. And I think maybe that's especially why you kind of need to go into hermit mode is so that you can really listen to your intuition and accept it. Um, I, I sense there's like this need to fight, this need to like fight against the intuition, whatever this, it's interesting because it's like, <laughs> it's very interesting because it's almost like, there's a message within you first that needs to be tapped into. And it could be in regards to this person that's coming towards you. Because I'm sensing that you probably knew this person was coming before they even came. But you were like convincing yourself like, oh, I'm just crazy. Oh, I'm just like exaggerating or I don't know. Whatever you tell yourself to kind of, um, you know, reassure yourself that your intuition is not indeed correct. And I feel like once you go within... And you really tap into that intuition that um, that needs to be tapped into during this time. I feel like that's going to unlock some things for you. Actually, uh, what is that going to unlock for Leo? What is that going to unlock for Leo? Oof, that is way too many. Anything else? Oh, goodness. It really wants to spill out big piles here. Okay, anything else? Oh, goodness. Okay, okay. All right, so a few things came out. So, what this time in solitude, once you kind of receive this message and it comes back, um, or once you take the time to kind of be with yourself, kind of um, go within. So, the Six of Swords came out. So, you may find that you actually have to move away from this person, potentially. But the Page of Cups also came out. So, 
Oh, gotcha. Okay, I see the conflict now. So it could be very possible that you moved away from this person in the past. With the Six of Swords, I see that as something you moved away from that was not easy to do. It really weighed heavily on your mind and in your emotions. Um, but I think you're curious about exploring something with this person. I feel like potentially because this is coming up as the Page of Cups, I'm sensing that you probably didn't get enough time with this person in the past for some reason. Like maybe you guys uh, broke up before you really got a chance to explore something. I don't know why I'm getting that. Um, yeah, but I feel like you're kind of conflicted between those two, two feelings within yourself. You might be conflicted with your feelings because you're like, do I run away from this person or should I go towards this person? And I think that's what's going to trigger that hermit mode. It's interesting because the nine of pentacles also came out indicating that you're very abundant and um, quite independent. The strength card indicates that you're very incredibly strong. And I sense that you had to be strong when it came to this connection for some reason. The Eight of Cups also came out. So that is another indicator that you might need to move away from this person because they are no longer emotionally fulfilling you. And only you can really be the judge of that, whether or not this person is... Uh, fulfilling you and that's what that's what the hermit mode is going to tell you um it's going to tell you if this person is right for you or not because only you can decide that um you know what i'm going to clarify the six six of swords and the eight of cups just to make sure that i'm not missing anything here in the details <laughs> um please clarify the six of swords please please clarify the six of swords for me please thank you Oh, no. <laughs> the lover's card just came out. Um, okay. <laughs> so this might be a very strong connection for you. What else came out? Ah, Knight of Pentacles. You may be dealing with some sort of earth sign or just have very, very slow moving energy. Um, the good thing about the Knight of Pentacles is like, unlike the other knights that are kind of like flirtatious, just kind of wanting something here and now. Um, and not really long term. The good thing about the Knight of Pentacles is this is a very stable energy. The Knight of Pentacles is all about really taking the time to really decide what you truly want. And then, um, as you can see, it's like, I love, I kind of love the art on this because it shows like, I almost see this, um, at this horse as being like unmovable. Like, somebody could go up to this, like, <laughs> this knight on the, his horse and like try to push him over. And, you know, they would. <laughs> They wouldn't be able to budge it because they're so dead focused on what they want. So this could actually be a good indication here that this is somebody that has taken the time to really, truly consider everything. And they now realize that you are their wish fulfillment, like they're what they want to pursue. And it seems like they're unmovable, unshakable in that way as well. And they could see you as, like, their divine counterpart here. And that would explain why it was so hard for you to move away from this person in the past. is because you felt this energy between the two of you. I'm going to clarify the Eight of Cups as well. Please clarify the Eight of Cups for this reading, please, and thank you. Oh, the Sun card. Anything else for that? Okay, okay. Um, the Sun card, first off, came out for the Eight of Cups. Uh ultimate happiness and just yeah absolute happiness health it, it, I just think of it like summertime really um just like full of life full of energy full of great great energy so it's interesting that that's clarifying the eight of cups however so um oh geez <laughs> what the heck is going on here so what else came out was the Hierophant. So uh, sometimes this can indicate a, well, it can sometimes indicate a traditional energy, but it can also indicate some sort of um, traditional coming together union, um, sometimes marriage. Uh, so that's very interesting, especially because this is all clarifying the Eight of Cups, moving away from something that no longer fulfills you. So I'm like, what? Um, and also the Ten of Cups. 
<laughs> Exceeding your wildest dreams for emotional fulfillment. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking that even though... I am honestly perplexed by this. I am kind of... This is so strange. Like... Oh, okay. So I'm actually getting a message about how you had to move away from this person in the past so that you both could work on yourselves. And now it's like you're coming together now that you have healed, now that you have worked on yourselves on a very individual level. And now that you've kind of both worked up to this kind of abundance on a personal level, you can come together and create so much more abundance. Yeah. That's what I'm picking up for this. This is actually really beautiful. I thought this was going to this was going to take an entirely different turn, so I'm actually really happy with this. Um also at the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Cups here. So, um I think that this person is either going to come towards you. Yeah, I think they're going to come towards you with a message and it could be a message of love. Um of course, again, go into hermit mode. Take that time to really meditate on things, really think things out thoroughly. Don't make any um split split second decisions uh, make sure that you're taking the time to really consider if this person is right for you because only you can decide that um, regardless of what the cards say so um, yeah Leo I really hope that you enjoyed this reading um, and I hope that you stay tuned for the next one thank you so much bye